All right, what's happening, everybody? How are we today? Steve Minglico, got my coffee here. Um, going to be going over Vue installation setup process so you can build a project. Now, Vue.js is a progressive JavaScript framework. It's becoming increasingly popular. It has a lot of uh, community behind it, and it's a little bit uh, what they're considering maybe better than the Reacts and the Angulars, which are supported by big companies like Facebook and Google. This is more of a open source uh, community project with a lot of different information out there and some of the best documentation you can find so basically what we're gonna do is just if you go to Vue.js there is some um, in, there is some information here as far as how to kind of build the project how to get information the documentation on here is just second to none so basically what we're going to do is if you don't have NPM installed node project manager you're going to want to make sure that you go and download and install it you can also just run this command in your terminal and it will install it to your system. Um, once it's installed, you don't really need to do anything more. It kind of takes itself from there. So the second thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you get a copy of Visual Studio Code, which you can download. Just do a search for Visual Studio. It's a free open source Microsoft IE, and it's probably one of the most professional ones out there. Uh, most big software type companies use it. So going back to Vue.js, we're going to actually open up our Visual Studio code, which I've already um, opened, and I have a few projects here running that are all Node projects. Uh, but in this case, we're going to create something new. So as of right now, I'm actually in the directory I want, which is uh, everymindcounts.org. It's just a folder I have on my desktop. So basically by going, well, first CD to whatever directory you need. So if you have a specific location um, that your folder's in, you can go there. And one thing I should say before you do this is make sure to install the Vue CLI. And I just have some documents here. Um, if you go npm install Vue CLI, it will install this process for you. However, um, I'm not going to do it right now because I already have it installed and it really won't benefit. So make sure that you have this, and this is spelt wrong, npm, uh, install-g, which is just for the global settings at Vue CLI. Um, so basically that will install all the folders and technology you need as far as the system itself to install. You can always go to, to check your Vue version. I just have a few commands here saved that make it a little bit easier. And you can see right now the Vue CLI we're running is 4.5.11, which is the latest and uh, the most up to date. So basically what we're going to do now is take this command, which is view create, and we're just going to name it whatever our project name is. So new uh, website and this will now create within the every mind counts folder on my desktop it's going to create a new project so why don't we actually pull up our folder real quick if we go to desktop um, every it should create another file in here called view create new website so let's just run that command and basically right now it is going to give us the setup installation process so here you can do Vue 2. Now there are some benefits still with using things like Vuetify and things that um, require the Vue 2 platform. But if you're really thinking about where you're going to be going in the next year, I would recommend just doing a Vue 3 install, which will basically set up everything. But in this case, I'm going to go to manually select features because I want the Vue 3, but I also want the router for um, changing pages. So we want Babel. We're not going to be using TypeScript. Uh, we want this router here, so let's just select that with the spacebar. Uh, CSS preprocessor, we don't need that right now. And linter formatter, actually I'm going to install the CSS preprocessor. And I probably should install Vuex, but at this stage I'm not going to because uh, it's not going to be used for this tutorial. So let's go there, and now here's where it gives us a chance to select. We're going to use Vue 3. And this we're not going to save this for the future. I can just set it up again. Uh, let's do SAS and with prettier and lint on save and in the configuration file. And we're not going to save this either. It's just not needed. So right now it's going into our folder and you can probably see, see it's created it here. New website. 
and it's basically installing all of these files now that are going to uh, control the, the application development. And as this kind of progresses here, uh, it should just take a moment or two. This new folder will be here at his new website. Um, and it will basically have all the files for development within it. And I'm not going to go into all the files just because this isn't what that tutorial is for. I'll make more uh, Vue.js tutorials after this explaining more of how that is. I'm just going to get this to run and, and pull on the local server. And then that will kind of wrap up how to set up your new view application. So right now it's grabbing all the folders. Uh, it's basically installing everything. You can see here it is completed. So that's great. Our new project is right here. And things are still installing. Let me go here and take another look. So we have most of our information going up. Found zero bot, uh, and here's the rest of the files. So as long as this is installing, I'm just going to quickly go over. You have your source with, you know, this is a little bit outside this tutorial, but it's still got to install anyways. So you can see a lot of these are the main um, folders within your view application. Everything is really under public, which is under source, where you'll find a majority of the information that you're going to need. So here we go. We've got the full installation installed. Basically, we just have to CD into our new directory. So let's go to CD new website. Um, make sure I spelled that right. So now it's taking us into our new website directory. And then on the NPM run serve, the software we installed at the beginning, it's going to pull the new application on a open URL on our website. So let's just take a real quick look at that. And this will be how you install your new view application. And in the future, I plan on making, so let's just select this. And here we are, this is our view application. Um, it's very simple. If you added the router, you will get this, the about page. It's kind of like almost a navigation for uh, your view application. But guys, this is how you set it up. Uh, I hope if you have any questions or need any assistance, let us know. I'm going to make more tutorials kind of breaking down all of the folder structure for the view application, the assets, which, you know, your, your website assets, the views, which what are dot view, how those all come together to build your application. But this is it. This should get you up and running and able to work on the system. And with that, guys, we'll catch you in the next video. Take care. Peace.